guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling super rocket chic with my look today. So today I'm going to be doing a requested video. I had a few requests to do my top drugstore products as well as my top high-end products. If you watch my videos, I think it'll kind of be obvious which ones, but it's kind of good to have um, your tops in one video. These are my top drugstore products of the moment. So I'm going to show you guys my top products that are pretty much the ones that I grab for on a daily basis. By the way, if you're wondering why my nails have been looking really ratchet lately, I've realized that I've just done heaps of videos and my nails have been like this. I've been trying to get them a bit healthy because I always, always, always have gel nail polish on and I really wanted to get my nails looking super healthy so I haven't worn gel nail polish in ages and I've been putting nail strengthener on them so they look really like ugh but trying to get my nails healthy guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that button down below if you'd like to see more from me. And like this video and comment. Let me know if you like this video. And even let me know if you don't like this video and why you don't like it. Don't just click the down, the dislike, because then I don't know what you dislike about it. So if you would like to see my top drugstore products of the moment, please keep watching. So first I'm going to go with an all-time favorite, one that I use all the time, no matter what. I pretty much use this every day and it's the NYX Dewy Finish um, Setting Spray. I spray this on my face, but I also use it to spray on my brushes, my foundation brushes in particular. I'll spray it on and then I find that it blends out my foundation a lot better, especially down onto my neck. Next is my Maybelline Big Eyes Liner. I haven't been using this as much lately but it still definitely is worthy of a top 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 drugstore products I really love this you know you guys know that I use this all the time both ends I even used this to do my black on my eyelid so this is kind of new but I've been using it a lot lately but it's also like I haven't had it for that long if that makes sense it is the Rimmel natural bronzer waterproof bronzing powder and SPF 15 I just realized that I had SPF 15 in it and a 025 sun glow I use this on a regular on a daily grab it I sometimes grab this over using my Mac give me sun so that really shows how much I love it I've never actually tested if it's actually waterproof and that it's SPF because I generally don't wear makeup if I'm like going swimming and stuff kind of like a really light shimmer so it's really good to bronze up the face I've worn it today actually next I'm definitely gonna have to go with my clean color by American icon wet to dry eyeshadows these are amazing really really pigmented and really nice they aren't the best with staying power though they don't you know last for a really long time I find that I have to make them wet to make them super pigmented but I really do grab for these all the time Another's that I, another's another set of things that I grab for all the time. LA Come Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil that I got from Shop Missy. You guys would have seen in my review. I'm obsessed with these. I especially love this brown shade. It's like a shimmery bronzy shade. It is so like these are my life. I'm so happy I got these and I want to get more colors. Oh my god, you guys, you know, you know. Oh my god. I don't do I even need to say anything. The Rimmel Lasting Finish Finish Primer is like my life at the moment. I put it on every single day over any other primer that I have. It gives the most amazing glow. I use this in all my videos and <laughs> you need it in your life. So I'm gonna have to go with my favorite foundation of the moment that is a drugstore and I've used this before. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Matte 24 Hour Matte Foundation in 24 Golden Beige. I really wanna try the Maybelline Paulus Fit Me, I don't know the actual name of it. I love this. It's a bit too matte for me, like just the slightest bit too matte. But if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I generally mix the Face of Australia Mineral Therapy Illuminator and this is an angel blush. Oh my god, if you've never watched one of my videos, this is like amazing. But mixing these two together, they like make babies together. These two are amazing. It gives an amazing glow and it just makes you like feel amazing. A few more of my favorite drugstore products would have to be these um, Maybelline Color Drama. Oh, am I out of focus? Um, I think I've mentioned this before in a few of my videos, but these are so buttery, but so pigmented and just mm -hmm, just my favorites. Another one of my favorites, favorite, favorite, favorites, which you would have seen if you watched my top 10 highlighters video. You should definitely go and check that out if you're into highlighters. This is the BH Cosmetics Starlet Illuminizing Bronzer. I use this as a highlighter, as a sort of a blush, as a bronzer. I use this. This is my everything. I use this all the time. I definitely grab and reach for it all the time. Okay, another 
two of my favorite products is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner and the Rimmel Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner. These, I put these together because they're both liners. Um, the BH Liquid Eyeliner is just like amazing. You guys know I use this all the time. This is like my go-to eyeliner pen. Has great staying power, lasts all day, really easy to use, and it also lasts a lot longer. I've used other pens from like Revlon and Chi Chi and all those kind of things, and none of them have lasted as long as this one, and I just I love it. And then also the Glam Eyes. This is more of a, this is kind of harder. I feel like this is definitely trickier just because it's sort of that thin tip. It is really strong and pigmented. I also really, really love these Velua lips by Astralis. These are like three new colors that I got the other day. That pink is just a bit out of control for me. I really love wearing them. I love the colors. They're a great dupe for Anastasia if you're in Australia, but they do dry you out. So I sort of tend to put quite a bit of lip gloss on just, but the color and the pigments are so strong. That's just why I like it so much. And there you have it. I hope that was a super quick video. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I just blabber on too much. The only thing that I would personally think that is better high-end is eyeshadows. I find that I find it very difficult to find pigmented cheap eyeshadows. So I have actually made a purchase on Colourpop and also Morphe. I know they're super cheap, but it is so expensive to get them for you guys. I can't even, if you're not in Australia, you don't understand. Like shipping is like 40 US dollars. They're basically stealing from me. Anyways, I'm just saying, I've just put a few more cheaper products online, so I'll give you a review of those when I get them for sure. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll definitely be doing my high-end version of my top high-end products of the moment, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, click that button down below. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you very, very, very soon. Bye!